welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually the fourth installment on my how-to series on YouTube. So if you haven't watched the three first videos, please go ahead and click on the links down below. I'm gonna put them on the description box and I'm also gonna put them in the end card after this video. So be sure to check those out. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I created this subscribe customized subscribe animation that you can see in the screen right now but but while we're at it please go ahead and click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you wouldn't miss any of my future videos by the end of this video i'm gonna make sure that i'm gonna provide you guys a downloadable link to this subscribe animation if you want to use it on your own channel but please be sure to subscribe and like this video and comment down below so i can answer your comment with a downloadable link if you want to learn how i did it just keep on watching right. actually i already have imported all of the elements that i will be using and i also got this green screen um i just downloaded it in google and to make it as a background because i want to reuse this subscribe animation to all of my videos in the future so i'm going to show you how we'll get rid of this background green background later on so i'm just gonna drag that into my timeline so i'm gonna use this first to subscribe uh, the red button and i'm just gonna drag it to here then i'm gonna re reposition it to where i like it. let's put it here for now and we can adjust later if we need to all right and then i'm gonna double click here and go to fx control and as you can see here these are some of the elements that we can animate or we can use for our animation so i'm gonna go ahead and um, tweak a little bit the position and the scale. I'll, I'm gonna start with the position first. I'm gonna hit this clock so that will create the initial keyframe that we have here. Um, and then I'm just gonna click on the arrow, maybe like two to three frames. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click that as well, but this time I'm gonna move this to another position, maybe right about there. Right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click my right arrow ag again for three times. So, as you can see, we already um, have it animated, but I feel like it's too fast so i'm gonna go ahead and just maybe space my keyframes um apart this is really the way you want it um there's no one way to do it it's up to your own preference so let me just drag it and see how this looks like I think that's better but I still want to kind of space it out a bit more because I kind of want to have it a little slower I'm gonna go to um, scale first I'm gonna click on it so we have the initial keyframe here I'm gonna go ahead and make the scale bigger and smaller as I go to a specific timeline just so I want to have an effect of this button sort of like popping in and out uh, if that makes sense so first I'm gonna sort of go here and then uh, make this bigger So let's see it. Yep. 
I guess I'm gonna like move it farther along. Alright, alright, since we got that out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and animate and animate the cursor now. So I'm just gonna drag this cursor to my timeline right here as you can see this is it. Um, right now, um, it doesn't have any animation, so it is just a still image right there. And But I'm gonna double click on it, and what I'm gonna do first is sort of resize this because I feel like it's um, too big for my liking. Uh, it, maybe right about there. So, yep. And then I'm gonna click on it, make sure it's selected. I'm gonna go ahead and click effect controls here and so i'm gonna drag this first to the first position that i want it to be in so i want it to be right here i'm gonna click on position so the initial frames is that now my idea is to kind of like move the cursor around the subscribe button um and probably <laughs> missing it <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Impediently missing it. So, um, like I've said, I'm just gonna. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm just gonna go around it, um, missing it on purpose, and then finally I'm gonna go ahead and click on the subscribe button. So let's do that. All right. I'm gonna go further, um, in the timeline. So you can see it goes bigger but i'm gonna double click on this and move it somewhere maybe right here And ultimately, as this stop, I'm gonna finally move it here. That's the final position. So, as you can see, the cursor kind of like dance around the subscribe button, intentionally missing it, and that's what we like. By the time that it clicks on it, let me put a, a scale. Here, so it wouldn't um, change until I want it to change. So be smaller as it clicks it, just to kind of um, give the illusion of it's actually like pressing it. There. Did you see that popping thingy here? Oh. Um, right about here. There. It's sort of like press it. Um, we're gonna cut it because we want to replace this the red subscribe button with the grayed out one. So I'm gonna remove this one and drag the grayed out button right about here. I'm just gonna sort of do this just make sure there aren't no there aren't any gaps in between so in here uh, i'm just gonna make sure that this grayed out button is actually the same size and in same position of this red one so one trick to do that is i'm just gonna add a track here and i'm sort of gonna overlay it on the timeline just so i can both see them I'm gonna make sure to drag this and kind of make a template out of it so that make sure they're on the same size. And I'm gonna put it here. So as you can see, um, if we play it, upon clicking, 
it changes to this subscribe button and i kind of like how it turned out what do is upon clicking on the subscribe button and this grayed out button appears it should slowly slide a little bit to the left and the bell button will appear to the right um, as if it's sliding from the back of the subscribe button so in order to do that i'm just add another i'm just gonna add another track here i want to make sure that it's under the subscribe button and not over it because i want to put the bell like at the back of it at first so here's the bell button that we have i'm just gonna drag it on to my timeline right here i won't do anything about this first because i want to animate animate this button here to kind of like slide to the left side first do the sliding effect i'm gonna go to effect controls again and then um, for the position i'll just click on it so that's the initial position and then i'll just drag it somewhere right about here and move it further to the left i want to make sure that it's on straight line let me actually do that again um, this is 632.9 so I don't want that to change so right about there okay let's see how it looks like okay that's a little bit slow too slow for me so I'm gonna move it uh, maybe here and see how it looks there you go maybe a little bit more I will do with the bell button I'm gonna resize it first because it's too big maybe like that I'm just gonna sort of align here to see um, how it looks upon clicking this i i don't want to see the cursor so i'm gonna cut it right about here let's see click all right let's see the a marker um in here where the bell is actually fully revealed and I, i'm gonna put some animation on that one so I'm gonna go ahead and go to rotation. Okay, let's see how it looks like okay let me just save that now after we reveal the bell button right about here i've already put a marker we want to um, click onto it so i'm just once again gonna copy this cursor i'm just gonna click on option and drag it across here I'm gonna change all of the keyframes here actually I'm gonna delete all of them because I want to create a new one I'm not sure if this is the best way to do it but this is just how I do it um, I think it's easier for me to be um, just copying it and deleting keyframes right about in here upon revealing the bell i want to 
move my mouse to go here to the bell and actually click it so okay i'm gonna click on here okay maybe i'll start the position to not be super far i'm gonna click on it and move it just about here instead of in here so let's i want to um make it look like the arrow comes from nowhere so i'm gonna click scale and move it to instead of 56 I am gonna move zero and right about here oh like the original one maybe this reset oh fifty six okay so right now I'm gonna go ahead and add the clicking sound when i actually click on the subscribe button which is right about here so let me just kind of put a mark on there and drag my mouse click sound somewhere here but the sound doesn't really start till here so i want to align that okay so after this bell sort of dance i want to move the cursor to here in order for it to click it so um it stops here around here here i'm gonna put a marker on that one i'm gonna go to the cursor and make sure to put um another keyframe for that one but this time i'm gonna move it here and then move up popping animation again like sort of like just put a, a scale a smaller scale for it to appear like as if it's pressing it so let's do that Okay. Sound is so I'm just gonna drag this. I'm gonna click on option and move it here. Okay, that's about right. Let's try to see it again. Okay. And or a pan clicking the bell, I want to change it to the one that has the line on the side. So I'm gonna cut this one here and I'm just gonna remove this part. I'm gonna replace it with the second bell that we have. Okay, so right, okay. Um, since we have this second bell here, I'm just gonna go ahead and sort of preposition it and make sure that this is on the same size as the bell one. Um, again, in order to do that, I'm gonna just drag it up here just to kind of see them together. 
and overlap them it's just a trick that i want to use so i'm gonna click on here and move it right about here i'm gonna scale it to see if it kind of like coincide with each other um yeah so as you can see it's some they're somehow of the same size now so i'm just gonna move it back here now when we play it from here there as you can see it changed um very seamlessly all right let me save that for now um and then while doing that upon clicking um i'm gonna move a little bit um quite a few frames i'm gonna remove the cursor again so click so click there maybe and then i'm gonna cut that and from there i'll remove this extended cursor so playing that like that but in this i wanted to kind of like dance the bell to dance just what we did here in the bell one that's kind of like wiggling so i'm gonna do that um Um, yeah. all right so <laughs> i'm gonna get the other audio the ding sound effect that i have here um it starts in here so let's see if it coincides wait um it should be after the click so i'm gonna move it a little bit so I go, oh, not that. Um, around maybe here. Let's see. I think that's good enough, in my opinion. What do you think, guys? <laughs> All right. So that's like the initial, um, the simplest animation of, that we have. So we, at first. The cursor is kind of like going around the subscribe button until it heats it and then the subscribe red button changes to the gray scale the bell button appears and then we click on it and that's basically the notification bell so i have this boink sound like i've said earlier like while this kind of like go um, around and the cursor misses it misses the subscribe button to be clicked i want the boink sound so what i'm gonna do is i uh, first gonna put marks on where i would want the boink sound to be in so first one is right up here when it reaches kind of like the peak so i'm gonna put a mark on that Then I'm cut, I'm gonna cut this boink sound right about there. Let's see how this looks and sound like. okay that looks good to me so i'll just saving it let's replay it all right um we can stop here actually but i'm gonna cut it um where it actually finishes so let me just play it and 
maybe right about there I'm gonna go ahead and cut everything of excess I'm gonna delete that and And this actually, I can um, just render it and export it already with just this. Let me do that first. But I actually want to add a little bit more drama in it. But for now, let me just save this and export it so we can use this one as well. So the last thing that we want to do is to kind of get rid of this green background so we can use everything um, in any background that we would want so first um, I created this new project subscribe final and I already have imported the subscribe animation that we created earlier I'm just gonna play it for you okay. So for that, I'm going to go ahead and click on effects and then key in ultra key. It's going to be under video, video effects, keying and ultra key. I'm just going to drag it to our um, piece here. So once that's done, we can go to effects control and look for the ultra key effects. Here we have it. And then under key color, click on the color picker. Click on the color picker and select the green part. As you can see, it is now all gone. Yeah. So as you can see, it's right there. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And obviously, let me just mute this. This one can also be... reposition on when we see it better so if I feel like I want it to be here since the background here or my wall is lighter than the bell I uh, don't want to put it here I'd rather uh, maybe put it somewhere here just for the sake of this um, tutorial and let's see there that's it you guys i hope you liked it and if you do please be sure to subscribe don't forget to subscribe and like this video please comment down down below if you would want a, a copy of this one so you can use it for free on your own youtube videos and once again thank you all for watching and i will see you next time bye